So this is the second video on the lecture supply so change management for IE 4355 facilities planning. And we continue our discussion uh, with the concept of integration. Integration is a central theme in supply change management. Building synergies by integrating business functions, departments, and companies. And that also connects to the topic or the main goal of this uh, course, which is facilities design. Uh, so by integrating functions, departments, and companies, the facilities layout design has to be integrated on it so to make these uh, synergies more efficient. So the strategic scope must cover all boxes, uh, those boxes that are, are shown in this slide. Uh, so at the top, we have the suppliers, the manufacturer, the distributor, the retailer, and the customer. And in the Y is we have the competitive strategy, uh, product development strategy, the supply chain strategy, and the marketing strategy. So the strategic scope must cover all boxes, at least at the supply chain end. Each stage must have fit across its vertical boxes and supply chain strategies spanning all, play all players. This feat allows the countering of multiple owners and helps avoid local optimization. What are the supply chain drivers and obstacles? Um, so the drivers of supply chain performance, how to achieve the efficiency and responsiveness needed by the product that we are uh, selling to the customer. So we have some logistical drivers uh, that in includes the inventory, the transportation and the facilities. And also we have the cross-functional drivers that are linked to those in the logistical drivers. And those cross-functional drivers are the information sourcing and pricing. So in terms of the logistical drivers, we have inventory, uh, convenience, we have cycle inventory. Um, so for example, we have no customers buy X one by one. So we know that we need to have a, a cycle inventory of, of X in this case. Um, unstable demand are the seasonal inventory like bathing suits for the summer or Christmas toys and computer sales uh, for Christmas. Uh, if we take into account the randomness, we need to have some safe inventory, meaning that um, if we don't know if we're gonna have a peak in terms of, of, of needing a, a, a product in particular. So, um, so inventory has to take that into account. Um, for instance, during the COVID-19 pandemic, there was a, a randomness in terms of the of product availability for, for multiple things. So uh, if we don't account for randomness, then those type of issues can occur. The pipeline inventory uh, is a working process or transit. So we we know the little law uh, that is used to compute the, the throughput, the working process, and the cycle time um, of our products. So for long run averages, we can have some expected values. Uh, so inventory or the pipeline inventory is gonna be equal to the output or the throughput out, output per time and the delay time, which is the flow time. 
Um, so applying the literal law, multiplying the throughput times the cycle time or flow time, we can get the pipeline in the 20. Number two, the transportation. Uh, so we have multiple modes of transportation that are, are needed in, in the supply chain. So if you're gonna go across the, uh, across the sea or the, um, then we, we need to have some chips. And if you are going to be distributing within, I don't know, within the nation, when then we can rely on trucks or trains, um, again, airplanes, depending on the type of product. So the transportation is, in, is in very important. Facilities um, in terms of production, obviously that's where the, the product is, is developed, uh, manufactured and then chip. So we have production that is flexible versus dedicated. Uh, flexible costs are service. Can you instruct or teach music as well as by change management? Um, so if that's the case, then you have some flexibility and that person can teach multiple courses. Um, in terms of sports, the playmaker who shoots well is, is, is rare. That's not always the case, right? But that could be, um, if you have a, a playmaker that can shoot well, then you have some flexibility as well uh, for your, I mean, basketball team. Inventory like operations, receiving, packaging, storing, picking, packaging, storing, accumulating and shipping. Um, so the job lot storage needs more space um, and cross docking, for example, for Walmart, cross docking is a facility that is not a warehouse and it's not a store. So the, the idea is that you have this facility in between your, your warehouses, your, your big warehouses and your, your facilities or your stores. And those cross docking facilities basically receive product from their warehouses and then they reorder the product before they're sent to the, to the stores. Um, so there, there's some efficiency in terms of you don't have to make sure that the order is complete from the warehouse. You can integrate multiple trucks into a single order at the crosstalk. So if you have a truck coming from, let's say South Texas and a, and a truck coming from East Texas, both of them are delivering different products, but you need both to deliver an order to a specific store, then you can have that operation perform in the crosstalk. In terms of the information, the role in supply chain, the connection between the various stages in the supply chain is the, the information is crucial to daily operation of the stage in the supply chain. For example, production, scheduling, inventory levels. So all that information is important at the type of making decisions. Uh, the role in the competitive strategy is that allows supply chain to become more efficient and more responsive at the same time uh, and reduces the need for a trade-off between the two. Information technology, um, let's say for this example, uh, Anderson Windows, window manufacturer whose customers can choose from a library of 15,000, 50,000 designs and or create their own. Um, and this, in this, um, company customer orders automatically are sent to the factory. So they get the information using this uh, portal, ele electronic portal, uh, an online portal. Characteristics of good information. Uh, information, is it accurate, accessible, is up to date? Is it in the correct form? So if not, then we have problems. Uh, we have information that is accurate, uh, that we have access to, it's up to date, and it is clean in terms of not having information that is not needed. So information from a strategy point of view in terms of the global scope, then we go uh, down into the coordinated decisions in which we use analytical models and then 
that should translate into supply chain success. The quality of the information, uh, again, the information drives the decision. So good information means better decisions or good decisions. IT helps. Uh, so um, in terms of gathering that information, we can rely on, on the information that is in the IT. So materials requirement planning, the MRP, the enterprise resource planning. So all these um, platforms can help you collect data and, and also create, generate reports, SAP and electronic data interchange. So the question is, what is the relevant information and how to use that information? Um, so ERP, uh, Enterprise Resource Planning, is a business management software. Uh, push MRP versus pull demand information transmitted quickly through the supply chain. Allows for real-time information and coordination information sharing. And it is expensive and difficult to implement. About 25% of ERP installations are canceled within a year, and about 70% of ERP installations go over the budget. So what is the IT push? Uh, this is information coming from 1965 until the 2000s. You see how different is the IT investment in terms of billion dollars. Number five is sourcing the role in supply chain. It sets the of processes required to purchase goods, goods and services in a supply chain. So supplier selection, single versus multiple suppliers, contract negotiation, and so on. Role in the competitive strategy is sourcing is crucial. It affects efficiency and responsiveness in a supply chain. Uh, decisions such as are you producing insights or outsource some of the decisions, improving efficiency and re responsiveness? Uh, so more than half of the revenue spent uh, for, for sourcing in terms of IT. And Cisco sources low-end products uh, for home routers from China. So those are the type of decisions that you have uh, that you have to make in this of in, in, for this type of company. So TI is Texas uh, instrument. So more than a half of the revenue is spent for for sourcing, and then Cisco sources low end products, for example, uh, routers from China. Then pricing the role in supply chain. Pricing determines the amount of the amount to charge customers in a supply chain. Pricing strategies can be used to match demand and supply. Um, for example, price elasticity. Do you know yours? How much you can increase the price and customer will still uh, purchase your product? Uh, role in the competitive strategy. Use pricing strategies to improve efficiency and responsiveness. Uh, low price and low product availability. Uh, vary prices by responses time. Uh, for Amazon, if you want to have faster delivery, then you have to pay more. Uh, if you have one, if you, even if you have Prime, if you want uh, some things to be delivered by the next day, you have to, to pay for that. Pricing, components of pricing decisions, the pricing and economies of scale, everyday low pricing versus high low pricing, Fixed price versus menu pricing, depending on the product and services. Uh, packaging, delivery location, time customer pickup, bundling products, products and services, and so on. Considerations for supply chain drivers. Um, so we have three columns in this table. We have the driver, the efficiency, and the responsiveness. So for the driver, for inventory, the efficiency will be the cost of holding and the responsiveness, it will be the availability. For the driver transportation, the efficiency will be the consolidation of the orders and the responsiveness will be the speed, how fast you can do that. Uh, facilities, consolidation and dedicated, 
uh, in terms of meeting those orders, how proximal, all the proximity to your customers and the flexibility. Information, low cost, low, no duplication. So uh, responsiveness, high cost, streamlined, reliable. Sources, source, sourcing, low cost sources, and then responsiveness, the responsive sources. And finally, the pricing. Uh, efficiency, a custom price, the responsiveness will be low, high price. What are some of the major obstacles to achieving fit? Uh, supply chain is big. Uh, variety of product services, spoiled customer, multiple owners from procurement, production, inventory, marketing, and multiple objectives, plus globalization. So local, there's uh, local optimization and a lack of global fit. So when we, when we say local optimization is like, <clears throat> Most of the time you end up optimizing one of the pieces of the supply chain or you tend to optimize each one of the pieces of the supply chain. But that doesn't necessarily translate into the optimal global fit for the supply chain as a whole. My obstacles of achieving fit, dealing with multiple orders, and as I mentioned, local optimization. Uh, so information coordination is, is important. Uh, so if you can have a, a same strategy to communicate in terms of information sharing from uh, stores to the last component of your supply chain. Uh, contractual co coordination uh, is a mechanism to align local objectives with global ones. Um, coordination with options which is rare, rare in practice you don't consider i mean you go with one option you don't take you don't keep multiple players in this for the same thing uh, so without coordination misleading reliance on metrics um, so if we don't have coordination that's very hard for us to to have a good picture about safety inventory incoming shipment size uh, purchase price of raw materials and revenue. Um, instability and randomness. So those are other major obstacles to achieving fit. Um, increasing product variety. Like you remember a few years ago, we have a single iPhone. Now we have like five, six different models. And that, that's the same thing for other products. So as you increase product variety, that creates instability and randomness. Uh, also shrinking the product life cycles, customer fragmentation. Uh, so push for customization and segmentation, uh, fragmentation of supply chain ownership and globalization. All those increase the implied uncertainty. Uh, the common problems are the lack of relevant supply chain metrics. Uh, how to measure responsiveness? That's very hard, very difficult. So how to measure efficiency, cost, work performance, et cetera. So another thing is the poor inventory status information. Uh, so theft is a major problem for furniture retailers, transaction errors, Retailers with inaccurate inventory records for 65 of, of their products. Uh, information delays, like dated information in, in compatible information systems. Misplaced inventory, 16% of items cannot be found at a major retailer. Spoilage, active ingredients in the products are losing their properties. Uh, product quality and yield and lack of visibility in the supply chain. Do you know the inventory your distribution center hold? Do you know the inventory your fellow retailer holds? So that information is, is important and that's becoming a major uh, movement along that direction with these online uh, retailers and so on. So they want to be able to see what's going on, not only at their, at their manufacturing facility, but at their stores. 
<clears throat> so common problems, additional problems, poor delivery status information, not knowing the order status, and that's, that's something that affects customers at the end. Poor IT design, unreliable duplicate data, security problems, too much or too little, ignoring uncertainties, internal customer discrimination, so living, giving lower priority to internal customers than external customers, uh, poor integration, elusive inventory costs, accounting system do not capture the opportunity costs, and supply chain insensitive product design. So that concludes this lecture on supply chain management and how they connect and how it connects to uh, facilities planning design. And we cover all these topics. Um, what is supply chain management and supply chain uh, strategy framework, components of a supply chain management, and the major obstacles and common problems. <clears throat>